do you have any knowledge of who did murder your sister, John Bonet? I've kind of always just thought it was like a pedophile who saw her at one of the pageants and snuck in and, you know, who knows, but. Could they have toured your home and doing these Christmas tours or something? It's possible. I never really thought about that. Your best guess that it might have been through a pageant? Yeah, it's probably some pedophile in the pageant audience. Did you witness anything that night that over the last 20 years you have kept a secret? No. Well, I don't know anything more than what everybody else already knows. One of the most important findings in the autopsy was the DNA found underneath her fingernails. When murder victims are being attacked, they generally claw at their offender. And that's what John Bonet did. This Colorado Bureau of Investigation report shows that tiny amounts of DNA were found under John Bonet's fingernails and in her underwear. And that DNA did not match John, Patsy, or anyone in the Ramsey family. Police at the time were not convinced that the DNA found at the scene belonged to the killer. Trip DeMuth saw the evidence differently. How likely is it that it would be anybody but the killer? Um, I think it's highly unlikely that it'd be anybody else but the killer. When questions arose about the DNA, male DNA found in the underwear that she was wearing when she was murdered, likely saliva, not Ramsey DNA. So what do the police do about that? They leak out a story that says, according to unnamed sources, police believe that the DNA found in her underwear may have somehow gotten onto the underwear in the manufacturing process in China. Are you kidding me? But it's so much of a stretch, yet it shows you the lengths they were willing to go to to try to incriminate the family in the court of public opinion. When I heard the chief's explanation that it was a Chinese factory worker, probably, I was rolling on the floor laughing. It was the most ludicrous, far out there, maybe it was this theory I've ever heard. We might as well say, well, maybe aliens came down and did it. Can you prove that didn't happen? They took DNA samples from you, right? Yeah, I think so. How'd they do it? What'd they do? I remember taking fingerprints. I don't remember how they did the DNA. They might have swabbed, I think they swabbed something. The answer to who killed John Bonet Ramsey lies in the DNA evidence. The former deputy district attorney admitted that DNA evidence provided a strong suggestion that the Ramseys were innocent. As of January 15th, 1997, there was a strong suggestion by the DNA results that the Ramseys were not responsible for this murder. I learned just recently that within two weeks, the police were given a report by the Colorado Bureau of Investigation Lab, whoever looked at the DNA, and said this DNA excludes this list of people, including John Ramsey, Patsy Ramsey, Burke Ramsey, and others. That report was given to the police within two weeks. They did not share that with the district attorney for seven months. They knew within two weeks that the DNA excluded the family, and yet they withheld that information. In October of 2007, the waistband of John Bonet's long johns were also tested for touch DNA by the Bode Technology Group. A scraping method was used to collect any DNA that might have been present but wasn't visible. Touch DNA found on the waistband of John Bonet's pajamas matched the DNA found on her underwear. In 2008, this touch DNA technology officially cleared the Ramsey family. That's when the Boulder District Attorney, Mary Lacey, apologized to John Ramsey for the cloud of suspicion his family had lived under for years.